Welcome to the Craft Beer Channel. Today we are going Ambition German to celebrate the victory of Germany in the World Cup. So what we're doing is three amazing, amazing hot dogs, all with beer. We're gonna do beer mustard. We're gonna do the most incredible beer onions. And then finally, to go proper German, we're doing a curry burst with a little American IPA splash in it. So if you're as mad as us and wanna do all three at the same time, the first thing you need to do is get yeah, mustard on the go. So we've got half a can of Corev and about 100 grams of mixed mustard seeds in there. Soak it overnight. The mustard seeds will get nice and soft. Uh, but we'll be coming back to that in a second. Beer onions, that's what we're doing first, okay? Beer onions are so good. They get this lovely sticky sweetness. Uh, this isn't the kind of stuff that you get on a grill pan in a burger van. This is much, much better. That's a whole onion. So the key, the key to great caramelised beer onions is to take the time over it. So first thing is some sugar. You don't need to be too precise about this. You can always add more when you want. Next level of flavour, balsamic, about 50 millimetres of this I'd say per onion. Okay, and finally, the most exciting bit, beer! So this is Augustina Brow's Bock. Now they make uh, their Hellas is probably the best, one of the best lagers in the world. So you want about 100 mils of that, which means plenty for the chef. You just have to leave that ticking over, come to the boil, about 30, 40 minutes. Keep testing it, keep tasting it. Don't eat all of it, but you will want to. So next one we're doing is curry versed. It's our super German recipe. A whole onion straight in there into the oil. It's a spiked ketchup, really. Uh, and the Germans will have these, they sell them on the streets all the time in polystyrene trays and little shitty forks and you just pick at them, they're nice and sliced, they're so so good. We're going to stick it in a bun and we're going to put some crispy onions on top as well, it's going to be incredible. And those crispy onions are going to be, uh, have another spiking with Sierra Nevada Torpedo. So it's going to have sweet maltiness but there's going to be that hoppiness that's going to cut right through. Okay, next thing. 500 grams or millilitres of passata. So we're gonna ramp up the flavour. First thing we're gonna do is add some sweetness with some sugar. If you want something like golden cast sugar would be absolutely ideal. Stir that in so it dissolves. Teaspoon of smoked paprika. Gotta be smoked, gotta be smoked. And then the finest, best presented curry powder. Two teaspoons of this. And what you're gonna do at the end is give it some seasoning and maybe a little bit of red wine vinegar to give it a little bit of sort of piquance. Or piquancy, piquancy, pick it, tang, bit of tang. While those two are going, I'm going to talk about our sausages while making as few euphemisms as possible. So, this is my sausage. This is made by our friends at Cobble Lane Cured, really, really good sausage makers and cured meat makers. Uh, this one's got some marjoram, it's got some ginger, and it's got some mace in it, and it's been smoked over oak. And it smells so good. If there was smell of vision you would be in heaven right now. It's absolutely amazing. So we're going back to where we started. Uh, these have been left overnight. You can see it's absorbed all the beer. And they've all got a bit bigger and nice and soft. So now we make our mustard. Weird things that makes. If you ate enough of them they'd kill you. But I guess that's true of most things. Uh, so we want about a tablespoon. Well, what am I talking about? A teaspoon. A teaspoon of nutmeg. There, a couple of chilli flakes, a bit of seasoning. Some honey to give it some, uh, some sweetness and some stickiness. Probably want maybe two tablespoons of that. There we go. And then finally, you want it to have a little bit of tang and that's gonna come from some white wine vinegar. The final thing you need to do is just blend your whole grain mustard, your beer mustard a little bit and there is your awesome beer mustard. So this one as well needs to be blended so we get a nice smooth paste. You can buy this blender at many top retailers. So, final thing we have to do is get our crispy onions, okay? Don't need many of these. This video might have broken the record for the most amount of wooden spoons ever used. Once they're really, really coloured, gonna splash in some beer, it's just gonna go whoo, and leave behind all the hoppy, bittery goodness. And then we put it in the oven to crisp up. Woo! 
Okay, so they've got some serious colour on that and it smells really sticky, like, like caramelised, slightly burnt sugar, and that's what we're looking for. So, take as little of the liquid as you can. So next, into the pan and this straight into our oven. Okay, so get your pan screaming hot and put your sausages straight on. If you can use a griddle, you get lovely bar marks. Listen to that. I call this move the meat laundrette. Look at those sexy mothers. Jesus. It's too good. This time's played up. Three sausages, three baps, three toppings. First one, moutard. So we made this with Corev Lager, it's got a lovely caramelly, biscuity kind of finish and that's what I'm hoping it's going to be in this. A lovely dark beery onions. Oh yeah! So stick it stuck to the fork! How do you like them onions? What are we going to drink with that? Because that matters a lot. Well, we're going to drink this bad boy. This is Heretic's Red Ale. It's called Evil Twin. What I really love about this beer is it's so balanced. It's got sweet malts, but not too sweet. It's got a big hoppy character that gives it a bit of finish, but it's not too much. Lots of red ales, they're really crystally. They're really, really sweet. But this one strikes it right down the middle. So we're going to get the sweetness to go with our beer onions, with our tomato sauce, and with our condiments here, and, and the whole grain mustard is pretty sweet as well. But it's going to cut through with those hops. Mm. This is a mouthful from TV. Bear with me. Mm. It's almost like a sauce on top, it just blends straight in. Mmm! Oh, so good. So it's so good. You know? You're sweating quite a lot, Johnny. Am I sweating? Yeah. I'm sweating a lot of meat. <laughs> if you've got a better topping, it's got to have beer in it, but let us know. Put it in the comments box below. Until then, get stuck in. Cheers. It's so good. Mm. Uh. <laughs>